Hello everyone, this is continuation part of how to install LAMP on Ubuntu server. In earlier video, we installed Apache so that you can see this page. And now we are going to see how to install PHP and MySQL. Just open this page which I have been shown you earlier and scroll down to how to install MySQL. Just copy this command and this is a command which tells you to install MySQL packages required to install on your server and just click on enter and it's asked for your permissions so say why it means yes and click on enter it will download all the packages required for you and it will prompt you one window so you need to enter the password for your MySQL database so please remember it's a case sensitive and you need to again re-enter the password so cross check once I just enter the password and it's password to and it asks me to re-enter the password I am just entering it and click on ok and if password and re-enter the password is successfully matched it will go for further process and you can see that uh, processing is triggered and you will see that root has been appeared and that's it and next thing you need to do just copy this button and paste it here and click on enter and ok no issues and no errors and go to the same page and you can copy this button it's asked for secure shell for uh, installation uh, it means it will check the password strength capability so click on enter and please enter the password you, which you have been typed and click on enter and say by yes and click on the new password it means if you have changed your mind and you want to change your password so this is the command where you can change your password so change the password and click on enter and click on buy and click on enter and click on buy it means you are giving permissions for everything to access uh, uh, to the mysql database do not skip any above three steps everything is required in this password also you need to reconfirm it and also you need to access mysql database that allowing everything permissions so after successfully installing the mysql we are going to install the php in the php just copy this first command and open the terminal and paste it here and enter it and type yes and enter just wait for 5 to 10 seconds it will keep on downloading based upon your internet speed and here you can see it's restarted and web service apache 2 so that no errors will be displayed here right now if you have done everything perfect and just copy this command it's saying that uh, in on your server basically default whenever the, you install linux 14 point sorry ubuntu 14.04 uh, it install an index.html file so it, uh, we here right now we are giving permissions so that prefer index.php sorry space should be there we are entering that index.php should be first instead of index.html so go to this index.php and remove that you are saying to your server that please prefer if there is an index.php file just choose first it if not then go to this remaining file and control x to exit and press y to save the file and click on enter that's it you done successfully and here you can see that modifications we have been changed 
and try to re restart your Apache server and click on enter and you can see that Apache server has been restarted and uh, these are the modules which you can install if you want required means this you can skip these steps you can if you want to install apache this cli image you can just copy it it's not mandatory but if you want means you can do it and this one also saying that to install that apache php5 cli and you can see zero updated zero newly installed because i have installed it right now and you can test this whether php is working or not by doing this command so whenever you do this command it's create a file called index info.php file in there you need to copy these three lines of code and just paste it there and control x for to save and press y to save and click on enter so that you have been successfully created that file and to check whether php is working or not go to your apache this web url and slash info.php info.php is the file which we have been created if everything works fine you can see this uh, informa php information showing that you have been successfully done everything fine uh, you have been successfully installed a lamp on your server thanks for watching this video and in the later video we will see how to install php my admin